Hey folks, working on an old forklift. Caterpillar. It's about an 87 model, I think. Something like that. Working on the uh, brake wheel cylinder. Took the wheel off. Then the drum. This hole right here. You turn the drum so it lines up with these adjusters. You wheel them back. What I did, I, I put a little stick in there and pulled these out so you could wheel it easily. Which brings in the shoes. You pulled the drum off. This was here with a couple bolts. Took these springs off and laid them aside with a pair of vi uh, vice grips. Pulled that off. And took these lines loose here. And you can see the lines come in here. You gotta hold this right here. It's about a 13 millimeter or something. Then you can pull these lines off. I can't get these to turn on the line, so I'm leaving them. I do have it off. You know, they're loose, but uh, when you tighten these back up, these li these lines, you got to tighten these up because you can't get to them once you got this in. So you got to tighten those up on bench. These wobble a little bit, so uh, you can get these lines on and wobble this, you know, and uh, get your lines on. And uh, so far, so good. You got, once you get that in, then you can put these in, in the ends of in, uh, the wheel cylinder. Then I got the brake shoes cocked that way. As you can see, those pins will go in there, right in that, there's a hole in here. Maybe you can see it better. Anyway. When you move these over and they slide, these slide here, up in here. Pretty straightforward, actually. Uh, all the nuts and the things came loose. I used a big old breaker bar on those hex head bolts. Where's the breaker bar? And that, uh, that got them off. How I jacked this thing up? None of my jacks, well, my bottle jack wouldn't fit under it. And my floor jack wouldn't lift it up so what I did it does run I stuck a bunch of wood under this let me get over here under this tower here and tilted it and did that over and over again until I got the wheel off the ground and I put some 4x4s under it for safety oh yeah you got a, this ring this ring comes off this first thing I took off after I got the wheel off, before I took the drum off. And that gives you access back here to help you get the drum off. That's where the, there's uh, I don't know how many bolts, there's, looks like there's four of them, I forget now, but anyway. And then the, then the massive cylinder's up in here. Brake reservoir is behind the steering column, that, pla that white plastic thing. And I haven't found the bleeder screw yet. I was told that there's a uh, remote bleeder screw on here somewhere. I haven't been able to find it. You know, I'm, I'm used to cars. I, this first one I've ever seen had two brake lines going to each wheel cylinder. So I'm curious uh, if anybody knows uh, whether you even have to bleed these. Anyway, I'll get it together, figure it out. But uh, I guess that's it. Oh, here's the uh, number for that wheel cylinder. There is a number on the wheel cylinder, but over the years they've changed the number. And I was able to call Ring Power and uh, they ordered one. Nobody had one, they had to order from Indianapolis. So, I guess that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.